Good morning, young readers of Trinidad and Tobago. I am Sharon Clark Rowley. I am the wife of the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Today, being World Read Aloud Day, I will be reading to you one of what I consider your favorite stories from Anansi Stories. And I show you the book that it comes from, Caribbean Comprehension, an integrated skills-based book, book six. So, as with all Anansi stories, I start by saying, Crick crack, monkey breaky back for a piece of pomerac. So, today's story is Anansi and the snake. There was a time when Tiger was the king of the forest. Tiger lilies were named after him, tiger moths were named after him. And the stories from the forest were called tiger stories. Anansi was a nobody. When the animals got together, they used to ask each other, who is the strongest animal? And all the animals would shout, tiger. Then they would ask, who is the weakest? And everyone would shout, Anansi. And they would laugh. Anansi got sick and tired of this. One day, he met Tiger in the forest. Now, Tiger was much too important to bother about talking to a speck of a spider. But Anansi spoke up bravely and said, Tiger, I wonder if you would allow just one thing to be named after me. What do you want named after you? asked Tiger, looking down his nose. I want the stories, replied Anansi. I want them to be called Anansi stories. All right, said Tiger with a haughty flick of his tail. If you capture Snake and bring him to me, all the stories will be called Anansi stories from now on. Anansi, who was very small but very cunning, had no idea how he could capture Snake, who was very big. But he agreed to do it. First, he made a noose out of strong vine and laid a trap in the forest, which he baited with berries. But when Snake came to eat the berries, Anansi found he was too weak to pull the noose closed, so Snake escaped. Every day that week, Anansi persisted with various traps. He dug pits and he made cages out of sticks. He tempted Snake with ripe bananas, mangoes, and a fat piglet, but nothing worked. Snake knew that Anansi was trying to trap him, and he always managed to escape. Anansi was starting to get desperate, but at last he thought of a plan. He went and sat right in the middle of Snake's yard. But you brighter, said Snake, who was very surprised to see Anansi sitting there. All week long you're trying to catch me, and now you sit here barefaced in my yard? It's true, said Anansi. I was trying to catch you, but for your own good. Now, all the animals in the forest will continue to talk about you behind your back. What you talking about, Anansi? asked Snake. Well, I should not be telling you this, but all the animals are saying that you believe you are the longest animal in the forest that you think you are God's gift to longness. They are saying that even the shortest bamboo is longer than you. Well, measure me, man, shouted Snake. Cut down the longest bamboo and I will teach them about long. So, Nancy cut down the longest bamboo he could find. And Snake, who was very gullible, lay his body along its length. Anansi tied Snake's tail to one end with strong vine. Stretch, Snake, stretch, called Anansi. 
and Snake sweated and stretched till his eyes were squeezed shut. Quick as a flash, Nancy tied Snake to the bamboo at his middle and his head. When Snake opened his eyes, he realized what had happened. And this is how Nancy captured Snake and why, from that day to this, the stories have been called Nancy stories. Crick crack, monkey breaky back for a piece of pomerac. Thank you.